What's going on guys? Welcome back to at to at to at, to at. Welcome back to automation. <laughs> so today we're making a I don't want to say we're making it straight up. We're making a clone of an SL500 as per a request. So I don't want to, you know, just straight up copy the dang thing. But I don't want to uh, you know, stray too far from the source material as well. So it's a little bit of a uh, conundrum. So the problem I'm having with picking up body for this car is that none of them look like they were molded out of clay and then stuck in a wind tunnel to dr and, and then hardened. I don't know, this could work, I guess, but it, that's pretty obviously supposed to be like an MX-5 or something. You know, this might work. That body style is a little on the old side, but that convertible, that could work. Let's, let's give this one a try. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, so this thing's gonna be high quality, so we're just gonna give it, you know, high quality longitudinal um high quality parts and make this thing as sporty as i possibly can so engine let's do a v68 cylinder uh i think maybe five and a half liter 5.4 that looks nice and compact and uh quite german i feel like the germans now the german the germans just want whatever's whatever gets the job done so let's do that i think that that that's probably good and we'll do that in aluminum, PBL. okay. So the version that I'm trying to go off of is like the mid, like the 2000s to 2010-ish kind of design. And I think about the, the five liter one, it put out like what, like 490 something horsepower, but it was supercharged, I believe. Or I don't know if that was the supercharged one, but there was one that was supercharged. So I'm thinking maybe supercharged because there's no supercharged option here. Wow, that thing got real girthy real quickly. Maybe we'll do single point. I mean, that, doesn't look German at all. That looks... This looks like it came out of a barn in Nebraska, to be honest. Anyway, so everything's actually pretty solid. We're gonna have to tune this a little bit. Okay, intercooler and turbine are having some issues, but let's see how it sounds so far. Okay, that does not sound German. <laughs> Gee, I wonder when the turbo kicks in. It's gonna be like, mm, we're just chilling, we're chilling. Those are the sound effects that this car will make. 560 horsepower. That's pretty insane. All right, so we're gonna go with the hard top convertible. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting design. All right, so we need like that, that wind tunnel look. That's a wind tunnel look, I guess. I don't know, this doesn't look like a Mercedes at all. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really foresee this ending up looking like an actual Mercedes. I do have this nice Mercedes grill, so we'll put this on it and hope that this somewhat redeems the rest of the car. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. It's a Mercedes. <laughs> this is so not a Mercedes. What have I done? Okay, now it just looks awful. What if we put this up here? Yes, yes, yes. What if we never explain why, but for some reason we just put a headlight right in the center? Well, that's beautiful. You know, honestly, I can't tell what I'm looking at. Is it, is it a Mercedes or, or, or is, it, is it a Lexus? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about any of this. Like, I don't know what I've done at this point. You know what this feels like to me? This feels like when the AMG came out and everyone was complain like commenting on the fact that they just forgot to design the back of it. Well, we forgot to design both the front and the back of it. Wait a second, I think we're onto this. I think we're onto something. That looks moderately Mercedes. Emphasis on moderately. Well, you know what? Moderately Mercedes is close enough to Mercedes for me at this point. S L F A because the front of it has weird giant holes in it like an LFA, but it's supposed to be an SL. So we've made that distinction. 571 horsepower, 4,000 pounds, 60-40 weight distribution. Okay, 10.6 miles per gallon. So definitely not a grocery getter. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and export this to Beam and I will see you guys over there. All right, so here we are in Beam. So before we take this thing to the test track, uh, I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit. Oh, I really should have chromed the black. That would have made it a lot more Mercedes-like. But you know what? It It is how it is. So first off, I'm kind of curious to see how the lights work. Oh, I'm kind of sad that middle one doesn't light up. That's ah, whatever. Um, 
yeah, no, I'm just gonna play around with it for a little bit first, you know, see how it actually handles its, okay, it's not very good at bumps. Oh, there we go. That's not, that's not terrible. Oh, speaking of that understeer that it was telling me about. Oh, this is gonna be fun to go around a track. Oh my god, I'm not steering it. I'm not steering it. It just does this. I've made a bad car. In a weird way though, it actually feels way more controllable than pretty much anything else I've built. I just wanna get a I just wanna get a feel for its top speed. Let's just let's just go in a straight line. No turning, no spinning out. Oh, there's a hill there. Jesus Christ, this thing is slow. I mean it's consistent. It's like it it, it hasn't really started to slow down yet. It's still just climbing. The question is, given enough time, will it break 200? Nope, the map's gonna end first. Alright, let's take it over to the test track and see how that goes. You know, from this angle right here, it looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie. It's only, you know, like, this angle. And this angle. And this one. And this one. I've actually realized now this thing looks more like a Jaguar than anything else. Anyway, let's give it a lap time. Three, two, one, go. All right, it's got a quick start. I'll give it that. It's got a lot of horsepower. It's pretty slow considering how much horsepower it actually has. I mean, that's probably just because I suck at gearing cars, so it's probably got its gears all just, you know, flopping around in there without actually, you know, any any functionality to be heard of. I will say though, I, I have high hopes for this. I think that this will be our fastest lap time. If I don't royally screw it up, that is. Okay, that was beautiful. Like I said before though, like those mistakes like that, I mean, when I feel like they're like my own driver error, I will redo the lap. But if, if I feel like it's just the car, then I just consider that part of the test. Then if the car is just genuinely struggling to make it around corners, if it does something like that, then that's just going to reflect its its ability to get around the track in the lap time. So those kind of things I'm not redoing. If I like, you know, just slip up and smash into a wall, then yeah, I'll redo it. But okay, this, this feels like a really fast lap. Holy crap, this feels like a fast lap. All right, and cross the line. Okay, that felt faster than it actually was. So yes, the unofficial time is is still the fastest that we've done yet, but it was a 139.7, at least unofficially. Um, as always, the actual time will be like just right there, or right here, or you know, it'll be somewhere. But that was a uh, that was pretty quick. I feel like we could easily shave a few, like a second off the time, um, a second or more even, just if 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 I just got through the corners a little better. But I feel like that's an accurate representation of this car. It's, 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 it's good on paper. And that's, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe maybe uh, for more of this awesome content. I just called it awesome. That's pretty sad. It's my own content. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.